going on guys? Garrett with Rask Group here, back with another video. Today, taking a look at my most recent belt setup and possibly my favorite belt setup. I have been loving this thing. We're going to dive into it. I'm going to tell you guys kind of the, met the methodologies behind it, what I'm running, why I'm not running other things, et cetera, et cetera. So, it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'm going to try to breeze through it though. Let's jump right into it. So first, I'm using a Blue Alpha Gear belt system. Slick, no molly, as you can see, none of that going on. And this is my solution to the minimalist setup that I've kind of been craving. So here you'll see the inner belt. I'll show you the front of it. The inner belt, this is what I've been wearing every day for three months as my EDC belt. Benefit being, I can use this as my EDC, you know, AIWB, the whole nine. Say I have my kit with me, something happens, I remove my, a my AIWB holster, I can throw this on directly over my EDC belt, Mary's right up to it, remove said gun from inside the waistband rig, overt rig, being this, and we're off. Simplistic, minimalist, less shit to worry about. To me, this is, and it's it's been great. As far as like a stiff EDC belt, I mean, I'm just pinching it between two fingers. I have like very minimal bend on one side. Does great. So haven't had a single issue with it. Getting around to the belt itself and what I have on here. So new duty belt rig. Hold on, I will, give me one second. Remove that for right now, just to make it a little easier. Unclasp, and this is how we'll do it. So, working support side to dominant side, this is what I got. So, three 70 degree angled S Tech pouches. Uh, I'm sure everybody that's like sub to this channel or watching this channel knows what S Tech is. If you don't, they make tactical nylon products. They're renowned for their mag pouches because it is a Contura wrapped mag pouch with a Kydex, hard Kydex insert. Gives you some positive retention. What I really like about these pouches in particular and kind of changed my outlook on how I set up belts, these are also scalable. So we're gonna get into like how ergonomic these pouches are and why they make sense to, to use if you're wearing some sort of upper kit in any capacity but they're super scalable. They just attach with this one wrap on the back and all you have to do is peel it off and remove the pouch. So in doing what I do, I take a number of different classes. I'm a pistol instructor. This is also kind of my go-to, you know, insert hype plug phrase of Minuteman or battle or war or whatever belt. This is the belt I would probably take with me. So if I want to, I can remove my rifle mag pouch. I can add a shit ton of pistol pouches if I'm, if I'm teaching a pistol class. If I'm taking a rifle class, I can remove one or both, uh, or one, two, leave one of the pistol pouches, add a lot more rifle mag pouches. It's, you can really can like cater the setup to what you're doing at that moment in time. Uh, everybody should have just kind of a baseline setup. This happens to be mine right now. And work off of that. So like I was saying, these are also super ergonomic as far as, as far as the draw stroke for a reload. I have had no issues indexing my mag, finding my mag, knowing where my, where my mag is, none of that. It also takes these out of the way just enough from an upright orientation and moves them down where I have a lot less issue wearing some sort of upper kit. I've been using the, well, these pouches button black on my duty belt for work for some time. Absolutely love them. A lot of guys are switching over to them because it makes sense, it works, it's a good piece of kit. Moving back, I got a single rifle mag pouch. <clears throat> Sorry. Reason being, I don't do a ton of rifle stuff, not right now anyway. And I actually have a second one that you'll see that's a little bit positioned, a little bit unorthodox on my belt line that I've been playing with that I really like. Under the single rifle mag pouch, I have this mini dump pouch from Flatline Fiber Co. I wanna say this was a also a collaboration project. I think his name is Kinetic Consulting. If I'm getting that wrong, I apologize. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Um, it's just hard to keep track of everybody's names. I think that's his name. 
but a collaboration dump pouch and it is absolutely awesome again mounts here i'll just let this go over the edge here mounts directly to the back of your rifle mag pouch and interfaces with just a single piece of one wrap on either side making it super 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 ergonomic and low profile like this is way out of the way and it holds all the random shit that i find a dumb pouch needing to be used for right so sorry guys sorry about all the jingles and jangles so that's kind of that side of the belt you'll see this side of the or the middle of the belt here intentionally left slick um I do that on purpose. If you've ever rode in a vehicle for any amount of time and had any kit on the small of your back, it's gonna create some sort of issue. I know that there's a lot of micro trauma kits on the market. I still have an issue with every single one I've ever tried. I'm looking at like some like kind of belt sleeve alternatives to have some type of medical on my belt line. Um, we'll see, I'm playing with some stuff. All right, holster. So this is the most recent offering from Safari Land, at least as far as I know. They just the day they announced it on Instagram, I went and ordered one. So the holster is a 6390 RDO. I think that's the right combination of letters and numbers. If I'm wrong, I know somebody will let me know I'm wrong in the comments. You guys never fail. So this is a level two retention style holster designed to work with large enclosed emitter optics. So if I were to take this. Nope, nope. This is a weird angle. Oh, that's why. There we go. So, right here you can see that it fits absolutely fine. No issue whatsoever. The draw, super easy and fluid. Probably the smoothest I've ever had coming out of a brand new Safari Land. Pretty happy about that. That is hooked onto a Safari Land QLS system. That way I can switch out different setups as needed. Uh, mounted on a True North Concepts MHA with their leg strap adapter and their thigh strap. Uh, I love everything so far. The one thing I don't like is the leg strap. There's absolutely no elastic to it whatsoever. So if you're somebody that never skips leg day and you have this size pretty snug while you're standing, you go to squat down or kneel into a piece of cover, you will experience a sensation uh, similar to an improvised tourniquet because that's essentially what this turns into, having no give. This will probably get, be getting replaced relatively soon. Last piece of kit on here is a horizontal, horizontal S-Tac mag pouch. I've been playing with this, I never ran one before. I saw somebody, I think Orion Training Group, running one on Instagram, and I was curious. I was like, you know what? I'm doing an order soon anyway. I'm just going to order one. And I'll tell you what, this is actually super fast, super ergonomic. It's not uncomfortable. Um, not making any final decisions by any stretch of the imagination, but awesome, awesome piece of kit so far. I want to spend some, whoa, there we go. Sorry, guys. I want to spend some more time with it before I make a final determination on that thing. But so far, so good. Um, really appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. It, this is going to be about 10 minutes. It's longer than what I thought it was going to be, but I ramble. It is what it is. But that's the current belt setup. If you want to have a more in-depth, kind of broken down look at this, I am doing a blog post for the website. And any questions, always feel free to throw a comment down. Send a DM on Instagram uh at underscore or yeah at underscore ras group website rasgrouptraining.com and for what it's worth guys as far as my this holster setup the mha the mha the leg strap adapter kit and the qls kit and even a few holster options are available at brownells.com for what it's worth uh i am in a roundabout way affiliated with them they help us out quite a bit so use code bop10 Bravo, Oscar, Papa, 10. At checkout, on orders over 150 bucks, save some money. And, you know, just happy to shout that code out for you. We don't get anything back in return. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay trained, stay rad. I'll be back with the next one.